so hi everyone today uh, i have made a blind stick for the uh, people who can't see uh, they can use this stick like when they find an obstacle uh, in between they'll get an alarm through the buzzer saying they have to go somewhere left or right instead of going straight so for this you'll be requiring uh, an ultrasonic sensor uh, an Arduino UNO board a buzzer and uh, battery and few jumper wires I have also used an LED to indicate the uh, obstacle uh, when the buzzer uh, when the buzzer sounds the LED will also glow this is optional if you want you can use it so first I'll connect the four pins of ultrasonic sensor first I'll connect the uh, ground pin uh, I have uh, stuck this using a double sided tape you can use whatever you want I have stuck this onto a stick using a double sided tape so first the ground uh, will go to the Arduino ground and then connect the VCC of the Arduino board to 5 volts of the Arduino then uh, in my code I have connected the triggering pin and echo pin to 9 and 10 so you can uh, you can do it as per your code the echo pin will go to pin number 10 of Arduino and the triggered pin here I've used a male to female jumper wires because uh, female to female doesn't work here because I have to connect the ultrasonic sensor pins so yeah triggered pin to pin number 9 of Arduino so I have connected the ultrasonic sensor now uh, I will be connecting the buzzer that is uh, connect the uh, negative terminal to ground it is a black wire to ground this one to pin number 11 so I'll be explaining the code now so let's go to the code uh, first I've uh, initialized the triggered pin to pin number 9 because I've connected uh, to pin number 9 uh, in the board the triggered pin goes to pin number 9 of Arduino uh, and the echo pin of the uh, ultrasonic sensor goes to pin number 10 of Arduino and the buzzer uh, that is a positive terminal of the buzzer goes to pin number 11 of Arduino and then I will be connecting an LED to pin number 13 uh, so uh, here also since we are using an ultrasonic sensor uh, we will uh, calculate the dis uh, duration that is the time taken for the waves to travel back and forth and based on this duration we'll be calculating the distance and uh, safety distance is uh, we have initialized a variable uh, named safety distance uh, and uh, that can be varied as per your wish so this is void setup function uh, it runs only once so the triggered pin is set as the output pin echo pin as an input pin uh, buzzer is an output device so uh, th uh, that is an that is also set as an output pin LED is also an output device so it is set as an output pin uh, so this starts the serial communication this serial dot begin it starts the serial communication and this void setup loop runs only once as you all know so uh, next we will come to a loop function so first the triggered pin uh, is set to low because we are assigning the triggered pin to a known state that is an off state and there is a delay of 2 microseconds uh, then when the triggered pin is set to high ultrasonic waves will be sent 
from the uh, ultrasonic sensor and when an object is detected uh, the waves get reflected back and uh, received by the sensor so uh, so that's why there's a delay of 10 microseconds and when the waves get uh, detected by the sensor back again uh, the trigger pin is set to low uh, so the duration is calculated through the pulse in function it takes two parameters it is an echo pin and it is set to high uh, so uh, it calculates the time taken for the waves to uh, travel uh, from the ultrasonic sensor and when an object is detected the waves uh, get uh, uh, reflected back to the sensor again so the time taken for this for these waves to travel back and forth is called the uh, is calculated and it is stored in a duration so the distance is calculated based on this duration based on the time taken for the waves to travel the speed of the sound is 340 meter per second and when it is converted into microseconds it is 0 0.034 uh, centimeter per uh, microseconds uh, and uh, it is divided by two because the waves the distance uh, travels uh, the waves travel back and forth so the distance is multiplied by two so we are assigning this a uh, distance variable to a safety distance which we have uh, specified here we have initialized it here so if this safety distance so in my code I have uh, like I've initialized it to be less than or equal to 8 so when the distance is uh, less than or equal to 8 centimeter the buzzer uh, the buzzer uh, rings and the LED glows uh, this this is your wish you can you can keep whatever you want it, it could be 10 also uh, it, it's up to you so uh, when this is a less than eight centimeter, the buzzer will uh, the buzzer will ring. That is, uh, the buzzer is set to high, and the LED pin is also set to high. Then the LED will also glow. Uh, when the safety distance is less than is if it is uh, greater than or equal to eight centimeter, then this else part will work. So that time uh, there is no obstacle uh, for them. Uh, so the buzzer will be set to low and LED pin will also be set to low so that uh, they don't have to be they don't have to worry about the obstacles uh, coming their way uh, and then we are printing the distance uh, in the monitor and uh, how much it traveled how much uh, the distance between the uh, obstacle and the uh, person so yeah this is the code I hope you understand this code so yeah so I've uploaded the code to Arduino now you can connect the battery and uh, it will work so I'm connecting the battery so yeah when there's an obstacle and when it is detected uh, through the sensor you'll get an alarm also the LED will blink.